Good evening, guys. So tonight, again, from the One Pan Meal Cookbook, we are having baked shrimp parmesan. This calls for six ounces of bread, so I am using a Sola keto style bread so that my hubby can enjoy this as well. So I've just got about six, seven ounces of bread. We're gonna cut this up into chunks. Gonna add just a little olive oil to a cast iron skillet and then just cut the bread into chunks. Remember, there is no wrong. And add just a little salt and pepper to the bread and toss it for about five to six minutes just till the bread is nice and golden brown. And we're gonna place the bread in the cast iron skillet into the oven for about five minutes. make it nice and crisp. So we've gotten the bread out of the oven, I've set it aside just on the plate. Look at these beautiful breadcrumbs that it made and this is all keto bread. I'm now gonna add a little of olive oil back to the pot. And remember to use a glove because I just burnt my hand and it hurts. This recipe doesn't call for it, but I'm adding a little onion because I love the flavor of onion. We're just going to saute it, saute this right in the cast iron skillet. If you don't have a cast iron skillet, don't worry, just use whatever skillet you have. But if you'd like to purchase a cast iron skillet, there is a large supply at a little place called Dragonfly here in Rutherfordton for really good prices as well. This recipe calls for two cloves of garlic. Of course, I'm adding more, so I'm adding four cloves of garlic to the onion mixture I have here. And these are some fresh tomatoes right out of the garden. You can slice these or you can put them in whole. I like the whole tomatoes because I love the skin. Just give this a stir. Remember to use your glove so you don't burn your hand. Mm, it smells so fragrant. And I'm just gonna add a little salt and pepper. And we're gonna let this cook until the juices all combine together. This should take about five minutes. So I'm needing some fresh basil for this recipe. So let's take a little trip out to the herb garden and get some. Welcome to the greenhouse. Which it'll be full of all sorts of stuff come winter. And we'll come over to the basil. Get us some of this fresh basil. Never grown fresh basil. Mmm, there's nothing quite like it. It's so much different than the kind you can buy in the store. I encourage you all to grow an herbal garden. I'm gonna add in the fresh basil that we just got from the garden. If you have any questions about how to grow basil, just let me know and I'll show you how. Or if you'd like to purchase some fresh herbs, you can also do that. So to the tomato mixture, we're gonna add a pound of shrimp. This shrimp is shelled and deveined. Tails are on. We'll add that into the tomato mixture. Just stir that up a bit. And then I'm gonna to top that with a little bit of the fresh basil. And then I have three cups of fresh grated parm. Just do a little bit of parm on top. And I have some fresh grated mozzarella. And again, we'll do that on top. We're gonna put this into the oven with a glove. And we're gonna let this cook for about 20 minutes. 